and investigative reporter Elijah has been researching random instances of holes appearing in the ground. No one seems to know where these holes came from or what their purpose is. Throughout his investigation, Elijah keeps hearing of a story of a man that fell into one of these holes and came back several days later, completely changed. Elijah tracks down the man, who we call the Traveler, and he is currently a professor of religious studies at a small college. He declines to be interviewed and slips away unseen from every attempt Elijah makes to meet with him. It's at this time that Elijah runs into an eccentric billionaire, Lee. Lee wants to know more about this story he's researching and he's willing to put up funding to help him get results. When Elijah gives him a draft of his story, he immediately wants to meet with the man who is rumored to have gone down one of these holes and returned. For backstory, 20 years ago, the traveler was himself working as a hitman. During one of his missions, he had killed a boy who was recording him on a camera shooting another man. About a month after this took place, one of these holes appeared where the boy died. The traveler had gone back to investigate and fell into the hole and into the world of the undead. Through a series of battles and revelations about himself, the traveler was able to return to the world of the living after several days of being chased by wraiths. You see the holes that were appearing if you fell in. You would either die or disappear. Lee, the billionaire with interest in the holes, was looking for someone to travel to the world of the dead, find his old business associate that had died with his stolen money, and get him to give up the location of the funds. The traveler had no intention of ever returning. Instead, he was trying to hide from his former life as a professor. Unfortunately, he was forced back into the world of the dead at gunpoint and was pushed into the mysterious hole. When he awoke, it was as it was the time he had been before. Dark and gray and filled with the wraiths of those who had passed before. After teaming up once again with the boy whom he had shot, the two seek out the billionaire's associate and come across new types of beings living in the darkness. These monsters were there to guard against the living profiting off the dead and to keep the world separate. The traveler once again needed to find his sword and battled the creatures until he was able to find a new path to escape. However, these monsters found out why the traveler was there and intended to punish Ted once the traveler had escaped. In the night in the real world, one of the beings crawled up out of the hole and attacked Ted's camp. They dragged him down into the hole while his bodyguards attempted to stop the monster. In the underworld, the traveler was able to use Ted's abduction as a means to escape back upward through the shaft of light in the darkness. As dawn broke, the traveler coughed as he exited the hole and was met by Elijah, who was chronicling the story. Elijah wrote the story and the traveler once again hid himself in obscurity, the only man to travel successfully between the living and the dead.